And in for fuel they come and Dunlop's pit board tells the story. And here is Joey. Fuel in. Check on the bike. And Joey cleans his visor. But he has not quite the same success cleaning the fairing. An exhaust pipe loose. That's the problem on the bike. Seconds tick away, but of course he has that comfortable advantage. Away he goes the hunter man. Not a quick stop, but there's no problem. Mallow comes in for fuel. And the crew put him in the picture. You, you're in second place. And Murphy behind Dunlop and his silence has started blowing. Get ready, Paul, with that cap. Johnson's Yamaha a little sluggish to fire up but he's away Trevor Nation fourth in the race but he's off the bike and looking at the rear of the machine the chain slack it'll need adjusting and that will take time And while all that going on, Marshall comes in. He's just 1.6 seconds behind Nation now. Nation is away, but the Suzuki crew are working well. And Marshall says the engine's suffering fuel starvation. But he's quickly back in the hunt and chasing after Nation. A narrow ribbon of road through Kirk Michael. He has done. Mellor and Johnson back close together on the road. This is Marshall. Dunlop into Sulby Bridge. His lead after five laps is bigger than ever. 48 seconds. Mallor and Johnson about to catch tailenders at the same spot. Roger Marshall at head of nation and holding fourth place. And all the time, Joey Dunlop proves that man and machine can work in harmony. This slow motion run through tower bends proves that. And Mellor. Still chased by Johnson. Roger Marshall storms through tower bends, but he's 50 seconds or so behind Johnson, even though he's holding off Nation's challenge. Into the gooseneck for the final time. The fans wave at Joey Dunlop, their hero. Encouragement too for Johnson and Mellor, but they don't have time to look. Marshall, can he hang on to fourth place? Brandywell, Dunlop on the running. Windy corner and signals for the race leader. Mella and Johnson. They've both ridden well. And the 
duo blast through Windy Corp. Dunlop at Hillary, not far now to the flag. And Phil Meller on the run in to the checkered linen. Johnson, too, close to the finish. He's coming into view. I don't think this is him. No, this is a rider coming in for a pit stop. And here's Nation scratching every yard to grab back fourth place from Marshall. But it looks as though Roger will keep that place and eight world championship points. The checkered flag. The fifth victory in a row for Ulster and Joey Dunlop. And Phil Mallard takes the chequered flag too. A fine second place. Jeff Johnson just behind him. He'll take third spot. On the podium, the winner's garlands and the champagne. Dunlop has been simply unbeatable. He and the Honda, with Michelin's help, have made sure of success. But credit too for Mellor and Johnson. They fought every inch of the way. Champagne flows, Dunlop looks delighted, another Formula 1 TT race is over. 226 miles of racing, hard work indeed, and Paul Fowler spoke to the tired but happy winning trip. Joey Dunlop, a fifth Formula 1 TT victory in a row, a superb ride. Oh, I really enjoyed it, things are going really well for me. Do you have any problems at all? Ah, the exhaust came off. It's my own fault. I missed a gear and blew the exhaust stuff. Yeah. You seem to be making some sort of adjustments uh, on that second pit stop. No, not really, no. I just I was a bit nervous because I was going to have to go really quick then and I wasn't getting away a big lot. <laughs> no hairy moments at all during the race? No, none at all. Conditions was perfect. And what does it mean to you to, to equal this uh, fantastic record of five in a row? Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, that means a lot, you know, I really look forward to the Formula 1 here every year. You know, I put more into it than I do on the rest of them. This was obviously the one you wanted to win, but uh, still some more uh, to go this week. Ah, oh, well, the wants to go is for the sport. <laughs> the pressure's all off now, I'm going to enjoy it now. Congratulations, Joey. Thanks very much. Phil Miller, a terrific ride there for second place. Yes, thank you. Great, that. This Suzuki's uh, some motorbike. This is some motorbike. This is the best thing I've ever ridden, I'll tell you. <laughs> no problems at all during the race? Uh, no problems at all, not even with flies or anything. Brilliant. Everything went according to plan. Jeff Johnson, uh, third place, an excellent result for you. Yeah, I'm delighted. We had second last year and third this year just gets us on the winner's roster again. Um, I hope the Loctite Yammer team were pleased with that, but I'm thoroughly delighted. Any problems at all with the machine? No, the machine was going really good. It was doing everything that I wanted it to. Just me not going hard enough. <laughs> So, a fabulous start to the 1987 Isle of Man TT races. Joey Dunlop racing his Rothmans Honda to victory in the Formula One World Championship race. Phil Meller in second place on the Rizla Heron Suzuki and Jeff Johnson third on the Yamaha. Roger Marshall still in search of that elusive first TT victory in fourth place on the Skull Bandit Suzuki and Trevor Nation in fifth on his Yamaha. Nick Jeffries, a spirited ride from him to sixth place. And Peter Rubato, the German who was leading the World Championship, is now in second place after his seventh place here at the TT. Dave Leach, eighth, Glenn Williams, ninth, and Steve Linsell in tenth.